Yo, what is going on, everybody? Uh, super late stream tonight. We're, we're pulling a late night stream because it's a special occasion. It's a special occasion. It's Atlanta. It's the return of one of my favorite shows on TV. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I'll tell you that. It's been about four years coming up in a couple months. Uh, but we are back. Season three. We got two episodes to discuss tonight. And I am uh, just beyond excited to be back. This is, like I said, this is one of my favorite shows on TV. I have missed this show so much. And it's understandable. These these mega stars are very busy. Donald Glover doing his thing. Zazzy Beats uh, doing her thing. Um, Brian Tyree Henry, Lakeith Stanford. I mean, the whole crew is just uh, phenomenal. So it's understandable that they were gone. But uh, we're here now. We are here now. And we are talking about season three, episodes one and two, uh, which... Whew, we, we got something to talk about tonight. We got something to talk about. What's going on, everybody? Um, so excited to be here with you all tonight. I just figured I'd pop on here for, I don't know, 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, talk to you all about tonight's episodes and, and see you guys' thoughts and uh, pros and cons, of course, and deeper dives into the conversations about the episode, especially the first one, which I found something out in the last few hours looking up uh some deeper stuff about the episode so really excited to be here with you all tonight talking about the episode and breaking all down and having a good time so uh what's going on uh we got, we got someone saying peace 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 what's going on how we doing how we doing everyone just go ahead and leave your thoughts in the, in the chat uh again we're, we're talking all things atlanta season three episodes one and two i cannot believe it's been almost four years first episode was deep it was deep and some some of that stuff kind of went over my head to after the fact i watched the episode uh javante hart is someone that didn't come to mind when i was watching it but kind of thinking about it a little bit deeper and just remembering oh that happened about four years ago when the show was uh last on so yeah the first one was extremely deep as Atlanta does, you know, you have fun with the episodes, you have a good laugh here and there, but then every, you know, you, you got to think about the subtext and the deeper meaning of what, you know, these creators are trying to tell us here. And it was a lot. There's a lot in that first episode. In the second episode, you know, getting our characters back was always great, but uh, it was it was a little bit, you know, like, where, where, are, where are our main stars? But, you know, after that first episode, oof, that was on the same line with me with um, uh, Teddy Perkins episode. It was just deep, it was dark, and it was twisted, and it was just... A really good episode of TV. It was like they never left. It was like they never left. What's going on, Nico? How are we doing tonight? Uh, we're talking Atlanta, man. I hope you're a fan because we're going to be talking about that thing here in a little bit. Wait till a couple more people get in the chat and we'll kind of get everyone's thoughts on the premiere episodes. Like I said, May 10th, I want to say, of this year. What, a couple months from now? It would have been four years. <laughs> four years since we got the last episode of season two of Atlanta. And I can't believe it has been that long, but, uh, you know, that's in the past. We're in the present. We got the new episodes to talk about. And, uh, you know, we got a, not only a season three this year, but apparently we're getting season four, which is, will be unfortunately the last season, but we're going to get to the last season later this year. So yeah, yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta, we are here. We are here. Donald and her. Yeah. They don't miss the co collaboration between those two absolutely fantastic they're uh the the look the feel the, the the commentary obviously the performances everything about this show it's it's one of the best and it's like they never left it's literally like they never left like i felt well personally me i don't know if you all let me know in the chat the last two weekends i rewatched season one and two not to necessarily <clears throat> like i forgot everything but i just wanted to kind of refresh myself right just to kind of get back into the mood of atlanta and uh yeah I, after watching season one and two and then jumping right into this episode it was like you know it was like we never left and it was just that type of uh episode for me what's going on sweet november 79 how we doing tonight like i said tonight it is a, a late stream again i just want to hop on here a little bit and talk to you all about tonight's episode and get you guys' thoughts on episode one and episode two and of course what you all hope to see in this season overall so uh it, like i said it is a, a an evening stream a late stream uh it's 10 41 where i'm at so you know we won't stay up too late because we all got to go to work tomorrow and do our jobs and what have you so uh like i said i won't keep you guys too late i just wanted to kind of chat with you all to talk about those those episodes i understand how the show is any all four main stars yeah like totally understand um bucky in regards to like i said the keith stanfield does this thing on movies <clears throat> um my man Brian Tyree Henry in Marvel movies, DC movies, uh, Zazzy Beats doing the same thing. So, yeah, they're, they're busy, busy individuals and, and all kudos to them. Much love and respect to them. I, it will hurt my heart that they will be 
<coughs> excuse me uh ending this uh this year but uh i love this show i love it so much but yeah they they some big stars what's going on what's going on Lindsay? what's up what's up we got um cassandra what's going on tonight how we doing the first episode is crazy yeah we're gonna get into it here in a little bit like i said i'm just gonna wait till a couple more people get in the chat and we're gonna talk about bah, 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 three slaps <laughs> which was episode one uh and of course episode two yeah yeah we're gonna, we gonna get into that damn thing so yeah guys let me know in the chat where, where we're coming from where we coming in live have you have you seen the episodes i hope so because we're gonna be talking about them here in a little bit but let me know in the chat man favorite character favorite season and of course thoughts on uh episodes one and two that we got of season three of atlanta let's see here let's see here yeah we're gonna get into <clears throat> this crazy stuff here in in the first episode we're gonna talk about aquarius here in, in in tonight's episode and again the uh the ties and connection to a real life individual and and again this is what i love about atlanta there was just i took the first episode just like wow this is dark and twisted and, and crazy all while being fantastically made and well produced and, and well acted but it didn't hit me till like literally hours ago so i was like wait a minute this this story seems oh so eerie and oh so familiar and we're gonna talk about r.i.p to uh Devontae hart and, and true true story unfortunately what goes down in tonight's episode but uh yeah we're gonna get into it here in these two these two individuals what was it uh amber and, and and gail or kale whatever her name was some evil individuals out there i'd say i'd say i'd say you uh let's see here we got uh is the theme of the season going to be black faces and white so i mean season two was robin season season three so far it looks like it will be kind of tackling um you know th those different uh, uh commentaries that Atlanta likes to bring to us whether it be you know social commentary racism uh, outside of america in this case in this season so i think we're gonna have a lot of different topics and things to kind of discuss within uh based on these first two episodes so i love seeing the cast but the first episode was very impactful it made me think of the episode um about school but i mean yeah there's so many <laughs> again i revisited let me know in the chat if you all did the same but in the last two back-to-back -back weekends i binged all of season one for the for the third time i want to say since it first released and I, I binged season two for the second time uh and i like i said I, it wasn't that i forgot how good the show was but i forgot how like deep and impactful and just like thought provoking and lessons that they that i didn't even really know about to after watching this show so yeah and themes like bully you know that's something that they tackled and uh what was it the season two episode 10 with the fubu episode and how that was just a, i mean yeah this show just hits on so many levels so many damn levels uh, the first episode set the tone yes it did uh wasn't i'm so one about the family who killed them yeah we're gonna get into it like i said this was uh it didn't even dawn on me sweet november till like after i watched it and I was like, this, this, this feels familiar. This seems like something I heard before. And again, we're gonna talk about this young man who uh, unfortunately lost his life due to what we saw tonight. Like, you know, it, it was, um, you know, something that did happen back in, I want to say, 2018. I might have to look it up while we're on the stream. But this, yeah, this young man, this was a, a real individual, Javante uh, Hart, I believe his name was, and very similar to this episode two parents adopted him and uh murder suicide uh killed him and i believe if some other other siblings like this show uh, episode tackle so yeah it's it's whew, this this show doesn't hold back when it gets to, to diving deep into some real life circumstances so yeah we're gonna get to that here in a little bit um let's see let's see let's see black he's a real yeah it reminded me of helen uh yeah yep yeah that is a real thing which I didn't know about either Black Pete and uh, that holiday that they um, that they uh, uh, celebrate out there and uh, in, in the Netherlands or in the, particularly in this episode in Amsterdam. So, yeah, yeah, Atlanta, <laughs> that's Atlanta for you. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and just kind of talk about tonight's episode here, which was episode one, which was, as you all can see on the screen here, this is a spoiler review. So I'm assuming you all have seen the episode. You guys have kind of digested the episode and, and you guys are here tonight to talk about it. And that's what we're going to do uh, with this Atlanta. Again, I just feel so glad to be back. I love the show so much. So three slaps, 
three slaps guys let's talk about it uh as the <laughs> i love the synopsis is as they say wow it's been a minute uh i like this episode about the trouble kid about who waited 50 years uh to to dive into get into this episode so we opened an episode let me know what you all thought i, I was i don't know if, if it was just me do you all remember back in like 2015 there was a dude uh his name was robert and they were all like on a on a boat and robert was like hey or his friend was like robert this 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 is about to end bro we about to fall off this lake or this uh the edge here and uh i thought they were recreating that scene which i think they were let me know in the comments again if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i think it was called uh going down i, I can't remember the name of it but it was a video on youtube like i said like five six years ago um uh, what is it going going down i think it was the name of the video with two dudes on a boat and uh yeah here it is here it is here i don't want to get my the stream pool but <clears throat> i'm gonna pull it up on youtube if you guys uh know what i'm talking about here this is what the first the first uh scene reminded me of a little bit let me share the screen for a second before i can show you guys what i'm referring to you might know what i'm talking about you might not know but this is what i was referring to here you guys remember that <laughs> you remember this guy here on the boat with his friend and uh yeah that's this was his first episode this first scene kind of reminded me of here uh again look if you haven't seen it look it up it's hilarious it's like a 20 second video and it's very funny uh but neither here nor there as we get past the kind of the funniness and the serious and, and the goofiness of it all we got homeboy uh telling our, our 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 character here about some tragedies that went down in this particular place of town in the water here and some things some terrible horrific things have went down and again based on history based on this show tackling real life circumstances i looked up some things and this this ain't this ain't just made up this ain't just made up here this is apparently a, a true story uh called lake lanier uh and apparently in lake lanier uh as as we kind of alluded to in this episode people come up missing when they go to this lake and, and a little bit more particularly uh back in the in the 50s u.s government shifted some families drove them out and construction homes and businesses were displaced and uh you know recorded in the in the in the bottom of this lake here and like you all can see on the screen now there have been many freaky things that's been going down over there in that lake uh drownings uh, uh boat incidences uh people have died on this uh under the water and, and as they say they feel like someone was pulling them underwater so uh yeah like i said atlanta they be you know so fun and games yeah we having a good time but they be throwing in some real life stuff and it makes you be like Boof. It's a crazy dark world out there i'd say you but let me know if you all knew about that lake lanier uh um uh situation there and, and again based on what i saw online this is something that is um you know quote unquote an urban legend that uh does have some uh, validity to uh some of the terrors and racism that went down near this lake veneer area so again first time hearing about it and uh yeah Atlanta brings it to the light. They definitely do. But again, going back into the episode, this is where we kind of meet our, our young individual of the episode, Aquarius. Shout out to all my Aquariuses out there uh, as he is learning. And I was so fascinated about this, this show, like in regards to timing of everything. I was wondering, like, is the show going to address the stuff that we faced three, four years ago, or will it be kind of in modern time society in, in regards to the commentary that the show is going to present? And, and they kind of do a little bit of both in this first episode. Number one, they bring up Black Panther 2, which we know wasn't out during that time. Uh, and then also they allude to the the, the the big dancing, you know, the nay nay and all that stuff, which was many, many years ago. But, you know, it made me think like, I wonder like how often they're going to refer to music that was out during that time. Uh, again, social commentary that was going on in that time. I wonder how like integral real life events will play into this season. But neither here nor there. Aquarius showing his ass. Unfortunately, his mom comes to pick him up along with, with the granddad and uh whap 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 give him the three slaps. She tells him right then and there, these white folks gonna kill you. If you don't get your shit together, if you don't get your act together, these white folks will kill you. And uh Aquarius, at least in the context of this episode, he kind of learned the hard way right as he's introduced to these two individuals, uh Amber 
and uh, again, it was Kale or Gail. I, I can't remember. I couldn't really understand what they were saying. I think they said her name was Kale, which I don't know if you all have watched Lovecraft Country, but that's the same actress that played in Lovecraft Country. She definitely has a thing for playing some uh, despicable <laughs> characters, don't she? Uh, but yeah, we see Aquarius gets dropped off at this family and, you know, they rename him. They give him a new name, you know, very slave like type of uh, in the windows in this episode. You know, they take away his, his real is the name he was birthed to and give him a new name in, in, in regards to Larry and my boy Larry immediately as he walks in. What is that smell? As we find out that Amber and the whole crew and, and, and the bless those little hearts, those little boys and girls. They live in a house full of doo-doo making lotions and soaps and homemade this, homemade that. And more importantly, they're washing their asses with the hands. So it, it's, it's, it ain't smelling too good in the Amber and Gale house as we see. And I'm just like, man, this is in. By this point in the episode, I'm thinking to myself, well, we about like 10 minutes in. Is, is this the whole episode? And I was a little nervous. I'm like, man, I haven't seen my crew in a while, but we, we got them in episode two. And we focus a lot on Aquarius, like I said, a.k.a. Um, you know, Larry. And I'm, I'm curious to know what you all thought about, you know, that those first opening sequences and, and learning that we're not going to be able to see our favorite characters uh, until, you know, the next episode. Let me pull up some of these comments here. Let's see here. They do. Yeah, they do. It's like no others. With the waterfall. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> walking down and down to me. The first episode gave me anxiety. You and me both. You and me both. I'm in Atlanta. Liquors are real. Yeah, like it's out. Nico, I didn't know until I looked it up a little bit earlier, man. This is even before I shot my review. I'm like, let me let's look this up. Let me type. I was Googling some things and that popped up. I'm like, damn, man, they always hitting me with the with the real stuff. And I actually, funny story, um, I used to live in Atlanta for like two months. I didn't really get to explore uh a lot of the places down there. But yeah, man, that's that's real. It's real, ladies and gentlemen. It was a black, yeah. Like I can say, yeah, I just I just found out about it today, my friend. It's really on me a Kanye line because uh getting green making treat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, don't you miss Kanye, the old Kanye? Uh, white people gonna be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an Aquarius. Shout out to you, Nico. We got two Aquariuses in here tonight. Shout out to my Aquariuses. Uh, they played Black Panther before the premiere of FX. That's that's funny. <laughs> that's funny how that works out. Oh wow, I had no idea that was. Yeah, yeah, she was. Um, <coughs> I, I I can't remember her name, but if you all remember Lovecraft Country. She was in the second episode, I want to say, and then they like killed her off, and then they brought her back. And um, Ruby was it Ruby? Uh, Wumi Mushaku's character when she did the metamorphosis, she she took the the body of that white woman that died in episode two. So again, I can't remember her damn name, but that, yeah, that was the same actress. And like I said, she has a a thing for these type of roles. Um, I don't know method acting. No, I'm just joking. I'm pretty sure she does other things besides being a, a racist, terrible individual. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. The chick, the chicken in the microwave. Listen, if anyone ever presented me with some chicken in the microwave, I'm out. I'm out of three thousand. I'm not even going to have a conversation with you. No, it's 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 a done deal. And I know some people that think chicken can be made fried fr fried chicken can be made in a microwave. Ugh. Come on, and then they told him to put some what salt and some some salt, season on that thing. No, you're gonna need to cook that thing, and then you know flavor it up and cook it properly. But yeah, I was I feel bad for for our boy uh, Aquarius in this episode. But going back into it and again, let me know you guys' thoughts on this first episode, which again it had its funny moments. But at, we're gonna get into it here. Unfortunately, this is based on true events that unfortunately uh, transpired a couple of years ago. But again, at this point, Aquarius is, is uh, you know, getting situated or excuse me, Larry is getting situated as he's given the new name here. Again, he finds out that he can't wash his, his own ass with a towel. You got to wash it with a... With a <laughs> <laughs> with his bare hand man and, and i know some people that live that same lifestyle it ain't for me i tell you that it ain't me i, I go when i go to a friend's house i bring my own towels because i ain't gonna be washing my body with my hand and, and the soap and the same soap that they use come on man it's gotta be sanitary out here ladies and gentlemen uh but we go back to larry and this is again when we get into the whole token black kid adopting thing and i said in my review earlier i noticed some some 
you know, nice people out there, some people that adopt for the right reasons. They want to, you know, help, they want to help kids and they want to treat them like human beings. But unfortunately, that wasn't what Amber and, uh, and, and Kel had in mind. As we see, they got the kids working in the, in the back of the house, like the house, you know, like they're slaves. Uh, and even Amber is talking about when, um, you know, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten. Well, you know, you ate celery earlier or whatever. And she like, sing a song. Why don't you sing? Oh, you know, I can't remember the words that she's saying, but it was a slave song, right? So I'm just like, God damn. And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, this really happens in real life. This is stuff that, you know, this is not just a make-believe fairy tale, La La Land story. This, this unfortunately happens to a lot of, uh, you know, black kids around the world, other minorities around the world. It's, it's some, some dark and twisted, sick individuals out there. And these two were, you know, brought to the, to the light, man, these, these two individuals. And again, we're going to get into it here in a second, but this is something that happened uh in in, in the real world uh and we're gonna get into that here in a second but let me catch up let me see what you guys are saying here in the comments here um she was the maid right oh yeah you're talking about the yeah um i don't know if she, i don't think she was, she was the maid she worked in like the the farm or something like that <clears throat> but i don't think she was the maid um and, and listen they put man they had avocado come on they had avocados on the side uh the pen is so powerful i can't wait to see what they do this season yeah this him and the whole writers and the directors every one a part of the show is great the black lady was like what the <laughs> yeah later on in the episode uh atlanta taking three or three seasons so on brand yeah but we talked about it earlier there, there's some busy busy bodies they got a lot of uh projects under their belt and i understand it so uh but hey we here now we back with it we back with it but let's get into <coughs> The conversation so again we talked about you know aquarius uh formerly known as aquarius now named larry working in the field because his, his mamas uh, are treating them like slaves and then they take the kids out to their kombucha stand and selling um you know all the little homemade stuff and free hugs which by the way that joke was kind of funny when the white guy was like oh free hugs is that your dad like no dumbass free hug uh it's just like goodness gracious but <coughs> It didn't dawn on me. I'm like, that looks familiar. His look looks familiar. That sign looks familiar. And then if you all do not know, just to put a little uh, context to tonight's episode with three slaps, this individual here, he goes by the name of Javante Hart. I was pulling this up while I was uh, while we were uh, talking over. Let me pull up the screen here and let you all kind of give you some little insight of this gentleman that uh, unfortunately passed away uh not passed away but was was murdered uh if i'm being honest so i mean this is a true story ladies and gentlemen back in 2018 trevante hart uh, a teenager who was murdered by his adoptive mothers uh, this photo 2014 during a black lives matter black lives uh, uh matter protests uh and, and four years later unfortunately this young man was killed uh in, in, a, in a family crash uh again you guys can look it up here uh just type in javarte hart but as you guys can see here uh in regards to you know the stuff he went through and if you guys see here four years he was uh murdered he was killed suicide orchestrated by his adoptive moms back in 2018 the hart family was driven off of a hundred foot cliff in california um and yeah they, they the investigation to death and abuse abuse by the parents white lesbian couple came to light um so yeah rest in peace to this individual here this young black man uh i want to say he was i don't know if they say the age he was i know he was a teenager javante hart uh passed away due to his uh being murdered by his abductive parents damn like again i was like this looks so familiar and as you all can see this is a true story man sad true tragedy rest in peace rest in peace man and again it was the show it hits on so many levels it hits on so many levels as we see him running up to the cop and telling him what and first and foremost i don't know if y'all know it's the cop originally had his gun in his hand you know had the gun in his hand was about to uh you know do as something that we've unfortunately have seen many 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 too many times with uh you know um senseless crimes and injustices in, in america but Cervante or Cervante, if i'm sorry uh larry goes up to him tries to get out of the situation but unfortunately the moms talk their way out of the situation and this is where the 
the mother, the the uh, the caretaker or the the child services woman comes to the house and tries to get the kid out kids out of situation. She notices that it's number one, it stinks in there. They ain't being fed. They ain't being taken care of. And Gail takes her to the back, and they allude to her killing them, which brings us to the end of the episode, and we see exactly what that article just said those two moms um and i don't know if there were other kids involved in that particular story uh javante hart but uh as we saw in the episode those two moms drove off a cliff but in this story in this you know um retelling of the story of, of, of a particular uh shakedown that we saw in this episode you know we saw larry and the kids get out of the back seat and you know, a happy ending per se. He goes back to home to his mom, got the spaghetti in there. He learned his lesson, right? But in this story, like I said, um, Aquarius survived, but unfortunately in the real world, uh, Shivante Hart did not survive. And again, what a what a tragic, <coughs> terrible, horrible, horrific, disgusting, despicable um story there of what really happened to him. So again, I I was like, this this feels so familiar. When I when I when I thought about it, I'm like that feels so familiar. Got to type it online, and again, that's where uh, Mr. Hart came up. So, first episode, fantastic. Again, this to me, this first episode reminded me so much of um, Teddy's episode, Teddy Perkins episode, which was you know again beautifully shot, well acted. You know Donald Glover at all prosthetic up, but how dark and twisted and just terrifying that episode was. <clears throat> to me, this was in the same ballpark as far as realism and and the, the stuff that went down and the racism there and, and what those two women were doing to those kids and treating those kids with abuse and tie that into the unfortunate real life circumstance with uh, Mr. Hart there. It's just this show, man, this show just it's it's it hits on so many levels. It hits on so many levels for me. And I, I thought this first episode was fantastic. But let me know in the comments, guys, what you all thought about three slaps and then we'll kind of transition into talking about episode two and see what you all want to see from our crew um <clears throat> i like how they did the plot to us yeah i like that they um uh terry and rain what's going on tonight man i, I like that they switched that up too because it's <sighs> just thinking about that man that's that's horrible horrible what happened to heart you know uh four years ago uh and then i saw fedora out new yeah like it didn't it didn't dawn on me to like hours later like so i even shot my review and i was just like damn that's 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 that that and i you know and i looked it up and yeah man it's it's tragic it's tragic then he said heard the cops rest us so yeah yep yep mm -hmm. which is um again there's some you know nice individuals in the real world that do adopt kids and want them to have better lives and you know doing all that good stuff but unfortunately there's individuals that abuse these kids and take advantage of these kids and um unfortunately in the case of heart they kill him which is um just, just you know something you can't even i could even imagine man should have tears with this story yeah it was emotional man like i said it hit me later i'm just like damn man and, and that's what this show is so great at man it's just really really well done uh elliot what do you think of the or we are i i don't know man like i said um season two was definitely you know robin season on so many levels you know uh from all of our main characters this season so far i'm you know obviously we got the stuff with um what was going on we're gonna get to episode two here but i don't know i'm, I'm thinking well, character wise i know we're gonna definitely dive deeper into van and her discovering who she is earn coming into his own as you know this manager obviously paperboy getting bigger and bigger darius <laughs> you never know what's going on with darius but i don't know <clears throat> excuse me, at least so far in the second episode, I would say, you know, racism, classism, uh, it's definitely something I can see them tackling in this, in this season. It's back. It is back. <laughs> Why is Van? All right, let's go ahead. And where's Clark County? Oh, Clark, Clark's out there. You who, you who he's, you know, uh, Ern trying to get him out of the, out of there, uh, a couple years, uh, or the finale, but now nah, Clark's out there. He's out there uh they kill all the kids and yeah so okay appreciate the uh correction there so there were other couldn't remember if there were other kids involved and whew, man six kids were killed in the actual event that is just goddamn it's terrible that is terrible and even when I, going back to the first episode when there was um amber or whatever she's like why did they keep letting the kids get back to us and that just speaks to just a deeper conversation regarding the system and how the kids get put in the system and how they just get these kids to just these 
sick individuals right so i mean yeah this show again on a service level it hits on a you know just a a fun entertaining level but then when you dive a little deeper in the subtext and you look up some stuff it, the show just hits it just really hits on a lot of a lot of different levels i wonder if trace is still locked up in the house back probably probably still beating on the door outside <laughs> this was a horrific act and killed himself and children yeah it's it's uh it's a sad sad story i tell you um let's get into it because i'm over here coughing i got a cold it's just a cold and my allergies oh my goodness shout out to let me know in the comments if anyone else I'm, I'm in st louis and the weather out here is just like up and down up and down hot cold you name it and my allergies are all over the place and i was like <clears throat> that's what i got i'm over here drinking some tea to try to help myself out but you know let me know in the comments are you all okay out there in allergy season god damn is whooping my ass i'll tell you that but let's get into episode two which i thought was uh was cool to kind of get back into our main crew and uh let me take a sip of tea here before we get into the second episode all right episode two episode two center claus is coming to town Again, this show, it'd be stuff I don't be knowing. I had no idea this was a tradition over in uh, Amsterdam and the Netherlands. Uh, Center Claus is coming to town, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, as we saw from this episode, oh yeah, it's unfortunately a real holiday. It's where, as you all saw from the episode, it's very similar to, you know, uh, a Christmas, if you want, you know, as far as St. Nicholas. The kids follow him up the, uh, the the house and go down the chimney, explains the black face, but don't make it right. I tell you that. And, and it's so interesting just kind of having that conversation. Amsterdam is definitely a place I would love to visit. And just traveling in general uh, around the world, taking in different cultures, different, you know, environments, learning new things is something I always strive to do is continue to learn new things every single day. And traveling is definitely on top of the list. But traditions, you know, over there, it's very common. And I know, too, I was just kind of looking up again this holiday and, and there's been protests and it's been people that spoke out about this, but it's a tradition right and again um it, it, that that deeper conversation about just because it's tradition doesn't make it right you know we always talk about it every and especially growing up older i got you know celebrating you know certain holidays thanksgiving and stuff like that and it's just like what are we really celebrating here is 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 this calls for a time of celebration so yeah let me know what you all thought about that but we'll get into that here in a little bit but it is kind of before we dive deep into the episode i gotta say it was great seeing these individuals back on screen together. I'm not going to lie. It was just nice to see our boy Earn making his earning, making his living, doing his thing as a manager. And Darius, my favorite character. Let me know in the comments who you guys' favorite character is. Mine is Darius without without hesitation. Uh, Van, I love her. And of course, paper boy, paper boy. He's on tour, ladies and gentlemen. He is in the Amsterdam and the boy, he gets some love. He is getting some love out there in the Netherlands and the people are loving him. Locked up in, a, in a, one of the best jail situations I've ever seen in my entire life. People want him out. People want him having, uh, you know, making music and want him out at the concerts and paper boy. It's going to be interesting to see him this season to see what kind of, because again, revisiting season two, and seeing where Al was last year, or last year, three years ago at this point, seeing the character getting into fame and realizing that you can't be who you want to be in that limelight as a rapper. You can you can spit the lyrics and, and, and try to speak a truth, but when it comes out to these public individuals, you got to put on a certain persona. you got to put on a certain, you know, front. And whether it be social media, whether it be, you know, how you carry yourself. So it's going to be really interesting to see it is... It, Paperboy will be Hollywood on us? Is he, is he going to go Hollywood on us in this season? That's going to be really interesting to follow that character. But we open the episode again, seeing Earn realizing that Van has made her way to Europe as she tells Darius that she is going to be um, figuring some stuff out. You know, she got Lottie with the mom and, and her parents, and she's just, you know, dating someone. I wonder who this individual is. Will he be making his way over to Amsterdam and we meet him? Is he in Amsterdam? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Is, is there a boyfriend out there as she talks about her panic attacks? But again, the thing I'm really excited to explore is as he beats i think van is such an interesting fascinating character 
I don't know. Again, revisiting season one and two this past couple weekends. I don't know how she was dealing with Earn shit. I love Earn. I love Donald Glover, but man, that he was a he was not the best partner <laughs> in season one and two. And seeing Earn deal with or uh, Van deal with all that was definitely something interesting. And just I, I'm just really excited to learn more about her heritage, uh, and learn more about you know her. You know, again, finding out who she is. So I'm I'm really excited to learn more about van and diving deep into the the depths and the in the um the range that mrs zazzy beats can provide us with so let me know in the chat if you guys are excited to get more from van and zazzy beats and uh again i'm gonna need more of these scenes let me know in the chat is it me or is darius the most interesting character on television <laughs> Look, <laughs> we'll keep Stanfield as an individual is a very individual outside of this show, but I think he he allows his personality to kind of kind of mishmash with this individual character Darius, who, like I said, from day one has been my favorite character, and he is just such a funny individual. And I wonder what he's going to get into this season as he's high as a kite in this first episode with Van picking her up from the airport, and uh, they're going on a trip to follow where this uh this coat that she found at the thrift store is going to take them which we whew, that scene and by the way shout out to the to the mustache you know you're rocking the, the pirate look this season i guess darius i, I see you i see you uh but <laughs> let me catch up to some of these comments here see what you guys are talking about with the second episode we'll get back into it um let's see let's see let's see uh, i would definitely be down for a thriller horror movie Listen, Flo, I said this in my review earlier, in a, in a vein of a, a Jordan Peele-ish type of narrative and, and a direction and, and backing by a studio, 100%. Teddy Perkins in tonight's episode is a perfect example. And, 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 and not horror in the sense of blood, guts, brains, which I love all that stuff. If you all know, I, I love me a good horror story, a good horror film but psychological you know like a like i said a la jordan peele you know diving deep into the depths of real life horrors right real life monsters so i would i would be so down for that 100 <laughs> percent down for that uh and again yeah like i said i got my own little allergy stuff going on but yeah i wonder again i'm so curious to know is this season going to be touching on issues that was in their time which this is supposed to be like 2018 2019 if i'm not mistaken or will it be addressing stuff like you just mentioned um 2020 2021 topics or they're just going to do like whatever they want to do right it's their show they can talk about any topics they want so i wonder if they will be doing that i'm miami allergies and i can only imagine uh shout out to my uh people in miami beautiful beautiful place to be certain areas i've been to florida a few times miami's nice certain other areas around surrounding miami aren't so nice uh but yeah <laughs> part of the white woman crying about is able was deep yeah 100 percent um we guess okay we guess so so it's not just me we all suffer from our allergies right now uh let's see who was van's room making mm. Mm. are you saying something there are you are you are you trying to tell us something there mm, huh okay okay we'll, we'll get to that we will get to that uh let's see here um what you talking about asap rocky he locked up on the play um asap rocky was him locking getting locked up on asap rock i didn't even think about that it could be because similar yeah he was out overseas i can't remember what he got locked up for but yeah i thought that um yeah, that's interesting. I didn't even really think about that. She's going something weird with Darius, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Paperboy's my favorite character. Brian Tyree Henry's literally do no wrong. Yeah, he's great. And I love that we got to spend more time with him in season two, which season two, episode five, Barbershop, was the most relatable episode of Atlanta for me personally. I need a haircut. I'm getting one next week. Goddamn. Is it? It's like pulling teeth with Barber sometime. And I love my Barber. He hooks me up. But goddamn, it's like you got to book them three years in advance. And then when you're there, they're like, okay, hold on. I'm going to get right back to you. Let me let me go over here and buy some some Jordans for my homeboy. Let me get let me get some UE lunch. Let me get some. Oh, man. But Brian Tyree Henry, yeah, I love him. I love uh, what Paperboy gives us. And Al, I should say. And I'm really excited to see what he gives us this season. 
uh paper boy paper boy shout out to terrain uh uh um, giving uh the, the super chat here with the ten dollars appreciate you man one thing i like about the actors of the show is that they <clears throat> all went and, and their own thing in their careers and the shows on hands look if can yeah that's yeah man it's it's been great to see them like for me personally i had known of donald glover well if i'm being honest i had known him of childish gambino first uh what was that song <sighs> freaks and geeks i think was the name of that was like the first song i've heard of him and that was like 20 11 2013 um and then i had i didn't i didn't like community i couldn't get into community but i saw him in some other stuff then obviously this show so i was already a fan of his i had known of lakeith stanfield when he was in a, a, a small independent film a couple of them um short term 12 um by the director uh dustin daniel dustin critton who did uh shang chi brie larson rami malik killer cast great movie but that was my first time being exposed to the key so i'm like this dude he got a lot of talent he's gonna make some some things happen and of course as we know from this show and other things like you mentioned oscar worthy type of performances and then this show actually introduced me to don't mind my dog who's getting all settled in his uh set up there but it was this show that introduced me to zazzy beats and introduced me to brian tyree henry so totally agree with you tyree and it's so great seeing these actors continue to grow their career uh you know and people discovering their true talents and it's it's just a beautiful thing to see and again it, it sucked that we had to wait this long but here we are and i'm, I'm so happy for them and again shout out to you uh for the super chat and, and being in the stream and i appreciate the support my friend uh let's see here i wanted to see them be the first to realize season yeah you it, it'll be interesting because i'm wondering too we're not we're gonna be in europe this whole season if you all don't know and of course season four will be the finale i wonder if i hope they go back to atlanta because i atlanta's a character within itself so i hope they make their way back to atlanta for season four but i wonder um you know how that's gonna play into the to the next season Doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah she's she's extremely talented but hey beauty is an eye of the beholder yeah i agree she's extremely beautiful <laughs> it's extremely beautiful no doubt about it uh let's see here then we get back into it <clears throat> let's see i remember being impressed by zazie's performance in season one before i even knew who she was Steph looking forward to seeing what she mean yeah same here i'm so excited to explore more of van and just speaking of zazie beats um she's been great <clears throat> if you all have never seen Again, apologies for my allergies. If you all have never seen uh, Nine Days, Nine Days is her, my man um, Wilson Duke, um, uh, and uh, 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 Benedict Wong, one of my favorite films last year. It should be available on streaming by now. She's Im immaculate in that film, and she's also she's great in The Joker. She, I know she has some controversy with the uh, the Harder They Fall, which was one of my favorite films too last year. But yeah, Zazie Beats is great. Everyone this cast is great. But yeah, Zazie Beats, she is a phenomenal actress, and I'm really excited to see what they do with her this season. I'm um oh, I'm almost sure that they did a social commentary about you know, what did they get like. Yeah, again, because yeah, I mean if because the show, the timing of season two was 2018 van or van told earn in the season finale he's going to be in europe for six months so i mean they could bump that up i mean yeah they could expect it'll be interesting to see how this show tackles you know obviously um you know what went down in the last few years let's see let's see yeah uncut gems yep you see i don't think he's going to be in part two i think the only one that's back is um daniel craig <clears throat> A one-off movie? Oh, that would be crazy. Yeah, we just talked about this, especially like a horror movie or something. Domino. Yeah, she's. Yeah, I hope she'll be back. That would be stupid not to bring her back and uh, Josh Brolin for a Deadpool three. But back into the episode again. Let's talk a little. We've been talking about Van. Let's let's get a little bit uh, deeper into talking about Van and and her new buddy <laughs> and Darius. Who who was that? Who mentioned that comment earlier that she brought the ice cubes at four a.m. Who was it? I don't. Listen, man, I don't think Darius would do that. That's against the code. You don't sleep with your man's, your your friend's ex girl and, and baby mama. That's 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 guy code one on one. We all know Darius don't play by the rules, but I mean he got. I mean he plays by certain rules, right? He he's he's from the streets. He knows certain things, but 
they are in Europe, my friend. They are in Europe. But speaking of Europe, again, we see at this point Van is following the address. Her and Darius go to go to where the address takes them. They pick up the people in the van. They make it funny. Van, get it. Um, but they go to this interesting situation. Again, I might be ignorant as hell of saying this. I don't know if there's any viewers from um, the Netherlands and Amsterdam. Is this a tradition? over there and what i mean by tradition number one darius bringing up that that's tupac <laughs> leave it to darius it's tupac there right they the young woman talking to van i love that conversation they have about you are you're here make the best of it right that's that's something i try to live by it's just like wherever i am in life you know good bad anything in between you're here figure it out right so i love that conversation she has with them but then they say their goodbyes to Tupac, um, hitting a button and a veil comes on my man's face and suffocates him. I'm not one to judge people's traditions, as we see in this episode with the blackface. Um, I can not agree with it, and I don't agree with this method of saying goodbye. I have seen other cultures how they uh, treat death and saying goodbye to loved ones a lot differently than I might experience or what you might do uh, for your loved ones, but. I don't want to go out that way. I'll be straight up honest. I do not want to go out that way with being suffocated in front of my loved ones. That seems like a terrible way to die. And it, it almost gave me like midsummer vibes when that was going on. I thought they were going to like hit him over the head with a with a uh, you know hammer or something. But man, what a way to die. What a way to die. Again, I don't know if that's how they do it over in Europe, but uh, you ain't going to catch me dying in Europe because I ain't going out that way. <laughs> I tell you that way. But anyway, let's go back to Paperboy, who at this point, like I said, has been getting out of prison and jail, which it looked like it was at a five-star prison with all the good things he had going in there. But the fans are loving him. The fans are loving him. Paperboy is a big name over in Europe. He's making a name for himself. Got money to spend. And uh, shout out to Earn, man. Earn was getting shit done this episode. It's it's so good to see him actually doing something as a manager, making moves, getting you know money over here, taking the cab over here. Earn's making an earning for his living. But as we see, um, you know, Paperboy making his way back to the hotel, and I think that's why he ended up in jail with those two women fighting over the one girl calling her. You would know what. And we see him going to the concert, whole sea full of black faces and <laughs> shout out to Paperboy. i'm out earn we i ain't doing this we we out of here and earn understands he like i said he's growing as a manager he understands you know sometimes you got to say no so they go he goes up to the promoter tells the promoter he's not going to do it the promoter tells him he's going to destroy him run down the stairs all black people look alike, I guess, <laughs> as he beats up a, a guy in the black face. And, you know, Earn sees this. They go back to the hotel. And, and this is where someone in the comments brought up. Is this a thing? Are we looking at a couple in this season? I, I, I don't see it. Again, I feel like Darius is, is a real one when it comes to just like... You don't you don't mess with even though Earn and, and and Vanessa are not a thing anymore, but I don't think Darius would do that. But again, we are in Europe, so that would be interesting. I don't know if I want to see that. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do that. Be honest, I don't think Darius can be Tay. I don't think Darius can be like a one man, and, and they don't have to be a couple, mind you. They can just hook up, one night stand. Ain't nothing wrong with that, I guess. But it, I wonder how how Earn would take that if it if it is indeed just a hookup for the night let me know in the comments are we looking at uh was it alluding to them hooking up with the ice cubes at 4 a.m in the morning i don't know that would be something something else i tell you but we end the episode with um um you know uh van and i'm saying you know they're highs and buys for each other you know we see Earn trying to go to bed and we see the text messages from you know our boy Al saying, I'm hungry. You can give me some food. Chop, chop, homie. I'm paying you to, you know, look out for me. You my manager. Get it together. So that's how we end the episode. I didn't see the trailer for next week, so I don't really know what we're getting, getting into, but I would imagine more of the of our favorite characters for sure. So let me know what you all thought about the second episode. Again, it was great to see our cast back together. It was great to see that we're going to be getting more of Van and her like being in the mix because we really... Season one and two, it was mostly 
Van and Earn. You know, every now and then you would see her interact with Paperboy over the phone when she was trying to get her pee for the um for the drug test. We've seen her talk to Darius every now and then and at the champagne episode where she was trying to meet Drake. So, but we really haven't seen her integrated with our whole crew. So it's gonna be really interesting to see her in the mix. Um seeing earn trying to earn that money can he be a good manager and actually make a living for him and his you know and his, his daughter lottie and obviously for his baby mama and all that stuff and obviously for himself <clears throat> that's going to be interesting again who knows what to expect with Darius this season? Whatever it is, I'm here for it. And, and seeing Paperboy continue to see, is he going to stay real? Is he going to stay to the streets? Or is he going to get a little Hollywood on us? That's going to be great. But again, just as far as the theme, I think we will see what racism looks like outside of America, what classism looks like outside of America uh you know how rappers are perceived how you know all the different stuff the show likes to tackle i think <clears throat> we can expect a, a pretty awesome great fantastic incredible well-written show as we come to known for the last 19 years since this show has been on tv and 13 of them being off of tv <laughs> but no i'm really excited <clears throat> to explore this season and in these characters and whatever new characters they throw at us someone talked about it earlier clark county he's still out there Yo yo or you who you who you who he's still out there. Tracy, can Tracy ask? Can he get to um Europe <laughs> from Atlanta somewhere somehow? I don't know. I would love to see him back. And of course, you know, what other new characters they can bring to us. I'm here for it because I love this show. And I'm I'm here for the ride. I am here for the ride. Let me catch up to some of these chats, these comments, and then we'll uh we'll we'll call it a night here in a little bit. Cause again, it's it's almost eleven thirty. I got to go to bed, get get my stuff ready for the mom morning. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you all again watching this live or watching this on the replay. If you're watching live, I appreciate you. If you haven't, give the video a thumbs up. Shout out to Tyrian with the super chat. Shout out to all you all watching live. Again, thumbs up, share, comment in the live chat. And again, if you can do the same on the replay, much, much appreciated. So let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, they killed Tupac. They killed Tupac. <laughs> what is it? You want to do it the bell? Oh, yes. Come with me. Yeah, Mary. Yeah. And by the way, how can I totally forget this show? This show, Euphoria, Insecure. Yeah, those three best soundtracks on TV ever. <laughs> okay. Whenever I'm watching atlanta insecure and in uh euphoria I'm, I'm like this like shazam who's that artist what's that song they have the best soundtracks uh so yes i, I love when they throw in uh some of my favorite you know r b and rap that's i love the show when it does that uh they try <laughs> call it <laughs> uh, it did <laughs> How did you mention it, Tyrion? Definitely looked like the condom. <laughs> Definitely looked like a condom. Uh, that didn't even dawned on me till you mentioned that. It's funny as hell. Why it's not a real thing. It's so deep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, episode one, like I said, I think when it's all said and done, people really kind of sit down with the episode and and, and 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 get the context and the subtext that the show was giving us in episode one. As we mentioned, um, Lannister Lake is a real thing. Um you know uh trevante hart is a real tragic situation so yeah i think when people really kind of sit down with this episode it's gonna go down as maybe one of the best well-written episodes of tv this year and I, and it's no surprise it's from atlanta so yeah this first episode was definitely legendary one of my favorites off off the bat <clears throat> was gonna go straight to life more grateful yeah yeah and again i like that they gave us the positive side of that story unfortunately what we know happened in real life but yes uh shout out to those moms that just it's always spaghetti in the house right did y'all ever have a mom or, or know someone that always had a mom but there's always spaghetti in the in the fridge all the time and shout out to oh my goodness this just brought me back to being a kid back in the day when they was watching the cable box and it was getting hot and they put the ice on the cable box so it don't freeze up <laughs> or over overeat man i say atlanta be hitting it man they be hitting it uh darius did come through for van at drake's mansion he did he was there talking to homegirl and helped you know yeah i don't know maybe they've been planting those seeds uh since season two 300 pieces of chicken and uh, lemon peppers yeah they needed more than lemon pepper on that dry ass nasty ass Ugh. uh van there <laughs> I like it. 
<laughs> I like I don't man if they give us Darius and Van this season again I don't think Darius is a is a is a boyfriend type of dude but them in a in a uh, entanglement <laughs> to say the least would be something funny to see I hope they do good friends because that would cause a lot of drama between the group yeah I don't I don't know I don't think they will but we'll see we'll see being up to doing the blackface thing in the urn was great yeah black folks they all look alike even when they're in blackface oh my goodness Listen, man, I want to go to Europe, but I'm going to make sure whenever I go to Europe or go to Amsterdam, I am not going there during that time of the year because I, 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 I just I could I could watch it, watch your show even through I'm watching the season three. Air the, oh, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Shout out to the UK. Then on Thursdays, uh, FX has a crown right now. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, HBO, they be hitting, and they got, uh, you know, I don't know if you all are watching Winning Time. I, I watched that show. I love that show. I'll review it on the channel. Uh, that's out right now. And then shout out to Barry. I don't know if we got any Barry fans in the chat. That's coming back. And then there's another show. Oh, man. It's like, uh, it's from the same creators from The Wire. Um, and it's a true story in Baltimore um, about the cops and taking dirty money laundry money is it look john berthal it had a uh, movie mushaku i can't think of the name of it right now but that's coming out in a couple weeks so hbo that's that's always to me like the top of the, the cream of the crop but fx is like fx to me is like the cable version of hbo if you know what i mean like fx is always coming with the, i mean this show atlanta um I used to watch the Sunny in Philadelphia. I haven't, I'm like four seasons behind on that, but I used to love that show. Uh, Fargo is fantastic. Legion, one of the best superhero shows of all time. Um, I never got into Sons of, uh, Sons of Anarchy, but I heard it was great. Um, Archer, I mean, FX is fire, man. FX has some great stuff. So, yeah, they come. I, I got to catch up. You mentioned Snowfall. <clears throat> I haven't seen Snowfall, but I heard it's great. I heard it's great. Yo, WTF is so crazy. I don't know. I'm already giving Snowfall a run for his money. Again, I, I can't speak on Snowfall. I, I haven't uh, seen Snowfall, but I heard it's great. <clears throat> Not a good manager, I see. How are you booking shows in the city during the races? True that. True that. <laughs> True that. He didn't know, man. He's still learning. He's learning on, on, the, on the go. He's learning on the fly, but you, you make a good point. <laughs> <laughs> winning time is excellent yeah winning time is is great especially if you're a, um, a basketball fan and and especially if you're a lakers fan like i am and, and seeing the showtime lakers is fantastic uh a new show on hbo Davis. yeah it's i'm gonna look it up bro i'm gonna look it up right quick uh john i know john bird follows it so let me just look up his <clears throat> filmography or what he got in the works um ba -ba 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 -ba. trying to look up this show right quick guys because it's a, it's a show that i'm like i'm all in for and it stars john berthal and it's about the true events of um a true story that took place in um baltimore and it's from the same writers as uh as the wire which is one of the best shows ever conceived Oh man, here it is. Yep. We own the city. That's the name of it. We own the city on HBO. And it will be coming out. <laughs> Put up here for you all right quick. Best believe I will be watching that and talking about that. I love uh stories like that and dive into the corruption of the police force and all that stuff. Yeah, we own the city. Let's say you got John Berthal, who is phenomenal. Um, Riders of the Wire. <clears throat> Some familiar faces here. I believe Wumi Mushaku's in it too, uh, who is one of the best actresses in Hollywood. Yeah, Wumi, this should go right there. Yeah, this is this is gonna be great. It's HBO, Riders of the Wire, um, based on the book, as you all can see here. Um, a true story of crime, cops, and corruption, a Baltimore Sun reporter. Justin Fallon and Grimmy and his chronicles and deep. Yep. Mm hmm. Corruption. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm all here for it. So, yeah, guys, keep an eye out for that uh, later this month on HBO. Yep. We own the city. Yep. 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 Um, oh, what's that? Okay. Um, enjoy. 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 Oh, well, I'm going to tap in. I have a season tickets for. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's a great writer. So, Listen, man, this is uh this has been fun. I don't know if we're gonna do this on a weekly basis, but I definitely wanted to do it tonight with you all in regards to talking about episodes one and two of Atlanta. 
like I said, I feel like it's one of the best, if not the best show uh, when it's on TV and it's on TV now. And then we got some great shows uh, on right now. And I'm so glad that this show is back. And I'm so excited to, to see what Earn, Paperboy, Al, uh, Darius and Vanessa get themselves into this season and see what other incredible episodes are going to give us like episode one, like episode two. And uh, I believe we're getting 10, if I'm not mistaken, this season. Um and I'm going to hopefully, uh, you know, be talking about it with you guys every week because I wasn't covering the show when it was on in season two. I wasn't covering too much TV shows. I, I might not even have my YouTube. You no, know, I have my YouTube. I just wasn't covering it on a week to week basis. But you damn sure I was watching it. Uh, but we will be hopefully if you guys like these discussions and reviews, we will be talking about it every single week if you guys want to do so. But uh, again, appreciate every single one of you all watching the live. Shout out to Tyrian with the super chat. Shout out to every single one of you all dropping some great uh nuggets in the comments some great insight your thoughts on the episodes uh you know and, and and your excitement for this show and this series and this season i'm here for it we are back with atlanta season three we got another comment here before we head out uh pc yeah, much peace and love to all every single one of you all stay safe have a great friday have a great weekend my, my people with the allergies I, i'm gonna pray for you <laughs> the weather would get better spring is coming so we know how that is is allergy people but neither here nor there thank you all for watching it live uh again before you leave like share leave your thoughts in the comments if you're watching this on the replay subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching uh early movie reviews tv breakdowns live streams like so and so much more hope you all are uh um being safe having a good night i appreciate you all we'll catch you guys in a lot on the next one take care everybody